Now, well, this should make you smile. What's going on in the kitchen here at the Hampton Road Show? Brent Schmidt, owner and executive chef at Brands, Brands in Hampton, is back. This morning we're making grilled rosemary ham and cheddar cheese sandwich with a creamy shiitake mushroom soup. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, it's good to be back. This is a great meal okay. for this cold and uh, nasty weather that oh, we're looking forward to. Yeah. Um, let's start with the mushroom soup and the ingredients that you've got gathered. And they're really simple. Oh, it's, it's simple. It's elegant. Uh, it's something easy to do at home. We've got uh, just a little unsalted butter, uh, the shiitake mushrooms, a little bit of flour. We're going to make a roux in our pan when we're to kind of thicken our soup up a little bit. We'll chop garlic, we'll chop shallots, and um, this is a little uh, chicken consomme to help flavor it. Mm, and then we'll put a dash of cream in to finish it. And, uh, yeah. Work on to the grilled cheese. Nice. So you don't really need a can. No, not <laughs> mushroom really. Mushroom soup, you can make your own. Oh yeah, simple ingredients. And there's something about mushroom soup that really, I don't know, warms your heart. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's the nice earthy flavor, and you can use any kind of mushroom you like—a uh, portobello, uh, okay. cremini, a button, uh, you know, any kind of thing like that. Whatever you like. Yeah. So how do we start? Oh, we're going to start off with uh, getting our pan warm. And, we'll up. and so you've got the butter instead of oil going in. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's been a while since we've seen you. How are things going over at the restaurant? Oh, they're good. Uh, you know, we got through the Thanksgiving, getting into Christmas now. There are uh, a couple of holiday parties and such. And uh, mm. speaking of holiday parties, if folks want to have their holiday party at Brent's, probably things are booking up, so they're probably oh yeah, sooner rather than we've later. got a few spaces left, but uh, we can. Uh, you definitely want to get in there soon. Yeah, you don't want to be rushing. That's for sure. So three pats of butter there. Yeah, I've got about uh, two and a half, three ounces of butter. The mushrooms are going to kind of soak up the. Uh, the butter are cooking off, and then the, the moisture is going to be released out of the mushrooms. Really good. And you were saying earlier, I mean, this is kind of like a made-to-order kind of thing. So I was thinking, like, if you're making cream with mushroom soup, you have, like, a big stock pot. But here, you, I mean, you have it, you know, for the oh. people you're making it for. Oh, right? definitely, yeah. And this yeah. is something you can actually do um, a day or two in advance. And, oh, then, and then just then add the cream. When you're warming it up, just add the cream to it. Oh, I like that. That is a good idea. Let's start to go on up there a little bit. We'll go and start getting some mushrooms in there. And this particular kind of mushroom, I know you said other ones can be used, but this is one that you like for this dish? Oh, yeah. I love the shiitake mushroom. It's mm -hmm. got a great flavor. Uh, I'm just going to put all those guys in there. Um, it's uh, something we use at the restaurant. We'll uh, make sauces out of it, mm -hmm. um, do different appetizers, uh, the stir fry uh, with the soup, of course, mm -hmm. that we're doing here today. This is one of the typically standard soups we do uh, at Brent's. We do a couple of varied throughout the year that are kind of, some are kind of staples, some kind of you know, we're being creative, like we're doing a really nice uh, acorn bisque right now. Oh, that sounds little, delicious. A little creme fraiche, a little drizzle of honey, it's got a little ginger and, uh, ses I mean, uh, excuse me, cinnamon in it. Yeah. Do you need me to stir any of that? Oh, yeah, if you grab a tong right back behind Absolutely. you Absolutely. Now, you're going to make a roux with this. Talk about what that means. Well, basically with the roux, it's a, it's a thickening agent. You can use, um, you know, a fat we're going to use is butter today. You can use uh, oil if you'd like. And mm -hmm. then uh, basically what we're going to do is add some flour to it. And we want to cook it. We're going for a light-colored roux, um, since we're doing a light-colored soup with the cream and all. And oh yeah, so we start getting those silver starting to soaking the butter up, and they're starting to cook a little bit. It's, it looks really good. It smells good too. This is really, really nice. So we're waiting for this to to cook down a little bit. Yeah, we're just going to cook it a little bit, and then we're going to add just a little touch of garlic and mm -hmm. just a little touch of shallot, just kind of you know, just increase the flavor capacity of the uh, soup there. Mm -hmm. And then the roux is made. Oh, yeah. How would you do that, just in case we run out of time? Okay, well, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, add our garlic in there. They look like they're getting right along the soup will cook them. So at home, you have a little bit more time. We just, you know, on oh. live TV, we want to make sure we get all the steps out there. So we have the uh, the shallots and the garlic, okay? Yeah, and then as soon as you start smelling the garlic, since it's chopped so fine, that's when we know that the garlic's getting toasted right nicely. Uh, see how the smell's starting to come out? Yep. You got the mushroom. You got it. And then we're going to really add good. about a tablespoon of flour. Okay. Maybe a tablespoon and a quarter and go ahead and stir that in. Okay. And then, we'll, yeah, I just want to... Now, this is the, when I would get nervous because it's getting a little sticky. Oh, and that's what you want. We want to kind of cook, you want to cook the flour a little bit to get the, uh... Okay. Cook the, the kind of gritty taste that the flour can leave in there. Gotcha. And just give okay. me a... Keep, give keep me a good doing stir it? Around. Yeah. Okay. And you want to get the sides of the pan right here. Mm, right. There we go. Oh, right. This is all that flavor. Yeah. Okay. So then what happens next? And then we're going to just kind of... You're going to flip it, aren't you? No, let's no. see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Really See, so it's kind of sticking to the bottom of the pan there. Mm -hmm. yep. You want to kind of keep stirring it so it's not going to burn. Right, right, right. Because there's a few stages of. Uh, okay. So what happens next? Because unfortunately we're getting the okay. wrap and we have to And then what on. we're going to do is add a little bit of cool water to this. All right. About a cup and a half. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add our consomme. And what's in the consomme? Uh, basically, what they've done is you take. Uh, 
chicken buns that have been roasted off and make a little oh. wrap with some uh, oh. different vegetables. So it could kind be of like chicken broth. Yeah, it's, it's basically okay. chicken broth. It's, really, it's a lot more condensed okay. than to say a regular chicken broth, and then we'll just get a little... The taste test? How yeah. does it taste? Uh, it needs a little more of this. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, we're running out of time. We're going to finish this up and then work on our yummy grilled cheese sandwich. We'll oh, do yeah. that coming up in the next segment. Brent, thanks. Oh, thank you. All right, we are in the Hampton Roadshow kitchen with Brent Schmidt, owner and executive chef at Brent's in the city of Hampton. This morning, we're making some great dishes, grilled rosemary ham and cheddar cheese sandwich with a creamy shiitake mushroom soup. In our last segment, we just put in some of the consomme, and you've got it boiling yeah, we've up. Got, we've got a nice, uh, rich chicken flavor is what we're looking for, so we still get the mushroom, there's still mm -hmm. just a touch of garlic. Now we'll just add our cream food. Excuse me. Sure. So you added a little bit more consomme, you told me earlier. Yeah, it, was, it was reducing a little bit. And then uh, so we just got adjusted the flavorings a little bit. So we had a little bit more water. So it went too rich for us. And then we just kind of stirring our cream. All right. I know you're doing it because you've done it so many times. But how much cream is that? Is it like equal parts? Um, yeah, we're probably got about two cups and two cups as far as stock of cream. Okay. So like equal parts to yeah. of those two liquids. Oh. And then we'll just kind of let this come back up to a boil. But mm -hmm. we always have to have a little... A little taste? Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. Just to make sure the seasonings are right. What do you it's, think? It's getting pretty close. Is it? Mm -hmm. So you're waiting for it to get up to a boil. Um, and then at that point, what happens? Oh, no, we'll just uh, adjust the flavor and we can, uh, if it's too rich. Wow, that's good. Yeah. If it's too rich, we can add a little more cream or uh, water mm -hmm. to it. If it's not rich enough, we can add a little bit more stock to it. Okay. So you were saying if you wanted to freeze it, hold off on the cream until yeah, you, you could, were ready you could pre-make this and mm -hmm. then uh, since it doesn't have the Pick cream up. in. Um, Thank you. Yeah, and then when you uh, bring it up to a boil, you just add your cream in to finish it and then you can serve it. Very good. All right, so you've got a great grilled cheese, and grilled cheese is a favorite in our house, oh, but yeah. you're going to kick it up a notch. Yeah, we've got a really nice uh, four-year aged cheddar. We've got a rosemary cured ham, um, nice European wheat berry bread, and a whole grain mustard. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start off with, uh, we take, this is a little bit of a roasted garlic olive oil that we okay. use. We uh, cook down the uh, roasted garlic off with reserve oh, the oil right. to use it in certain dishes. It's very popular on the oven. Um, very good. We grilled cheeses. So we'll go over here and get our... So you're going to put it in the oven? Yeah, we're going to toast in the oven. So we're just going to take a little bit of our oil and just put it right on the pan. And for this soup, do I need to be stirring it, or do you just let it? Oh, uh, we'll just it'll come up to a boil when the cream gets warm enough. Right. And then we'll take one side of our bread and put some of the uh, whole grain mustard on it. Mm. Here, I'll help you with one okay. or the other one. Okay. Here's a here's a spoon to use. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So here we have this. Um, you know, we've been talking about sleep or the lack of it in the buzz. How about you? What is a, a good amount of sleep for you? Uh, if I get six to seven hours, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I know you probably had a late night last night at the restaurant. It's just kind of the way restaurants are, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. Seven days a week. And then, yeah, I just kind of want to put a nice even coat of the uh, mustard on there. Okay. And then the kind of cheese you use? Um, today we're going to use in the, uh, it's a red spruce four-year aged cheddar. That's a uh, really beefy, sharp cheddar. Mm -hmm. That's going to be great with the rosemary ham and the, uh, okay. then we'll just kind of take it, take our bread and put it on a plate and we'll give it a little turn to get all the oil on it. Okay. And then from here we'll go uh, and put uh, a couple slices of ham right on the mustard. So you layer it on and then the cheese goes on top? Yeah, and then we'll take the, put the cheese on the other side so the ham gets to cook nice right. and warm. The Sounds bread will be good. nice and toasty. So we're going to stick it in the oven and wrap all of this up coming up in our next cooking segment. Brent, thanks very much. No problem. Time for the moment of truth? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. You're not scared because it smells so good. All told, and you're letting it boil right now, all told, how long do you think it would take to do this? Oh, this is really quick. You can do this in under 10 minutes. Oh, really? The I mean, I know you have to slow things a, down for us. Yeah, it takes, you know, it takes a few minutes to cut everything up, but once you get it going, uh, it's really quick soup to make. Wow. This is delicious. Thank you. Absolutely delicious. And it's done. Yeah. So we're, we've got some great plates out here, and we've got the uh, grilled cheese sandwiches in the oven. Do you think those are done? They should just about be ready. Mmm, this is so good. And then seriously, when I said earlier, you don't need a can anymore. <laughs> this is good stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at that wholesome goodness. <gasps> wow. And we, before we left last segment, what you did is there's nothing on this piece of bread. You just put the cheese just, on yeah, top. Yeah, we just have the cheese on here, mm -hmm. and uh, the garlic oil is on everything, and then we have the uh, rosemary ham and the... Uh, whole grain mustard there. And then we'll just kind of take these guys and 
Put them on top. See how nice and golden that is? Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. On a day like to today, I mean, this is on your menu, oh. I, I imagine. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you're going to like, kind of, you should just make them ahead of time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just kind of take them, I like to smush them a little bit, get some of the cheese coming out of it. Good stuff. Tell us where you're located for folks who aren't familiar, your location in Hampton. We are located in downtown Hampton at 9 East Queensway. And there's a little row of it's other charming. restaurants that are down yeah. there, and it's a quaint little place. Yeah, it is a charming row, definitely. So um, the soup and the sandwich, this is kind of one serving that yeah, you serve at just, the restaurant. Yeah, we'll and just do, uh, kind of put these on here like so. <laughs> I love it. Good stuff. So what else is going on for the holidays, Brent? How are things going? Busy, oh, busy, I imagine. Busy, busy, yeah, we're staying busy. Uh, lots of Christmas parties and such. Mm -hmm. Just kind of getting getting through the holidays here, yeah. and we'll take a nice bit of our uh, nice shiitake mushroom soup there. Let's go ahead and uh, get in our bowls. All right. Well, definitely, as you scoop that up, we're all salivating for sure. We're going to definitely give it all the taste test coming up before the end of the show. Brent, thanks very much. It looks delicious, delicious, and it smells wonderful. Thank you.